Good afternoon, three cushion fans worldwide watching the YouTube channel five and six. We are in Las Vegas, Nevada. Next to me, you see Torbjörn Blomdahl, the many time world champion who will give us his expertise on this match. And the match is going to be a good one. Same Sidom from Egypt and Dick Jaspers from the Netherlands play the final of this tournament. We have to make Dick the favorite, don't you think, Torbjörn? Yes, I think so. Uh, I interviewed uh, about 85 people here just before the match and uh, Everybody they all agree. Everybody says Dick, Dick, yes. Dick. So. so we have a firm underdog, but a dangerous one. Mr. Sami Sidom has played a really, really good tournament. And he has surprised very good players. He is ninth on the world ranking for a good reason. Played excellent averages here in Las Vegas. He is dangerous. Has a very easy style, good stroke, and we can trust that all the time. And as you say, he's dangerous. But uh, I think he never beat the Casper, so that's <laughs> a little bit of a problem. Yeah, that's uh, a bit of a problem. The guy he is taking on is has been for the last couple of years the toughest nut to crack. Best player in the world. Welcome, welcome everyone to the final match. We are going to the introductions. UMB Three Cushion Las Vegas World Cup. My name is Ira Lee, and on behalf of the UMB, the CPB, the USBA, it's my pleasure and honor to be here. I want to thank the audience for your incredible attendance and passion and support for this. The start of a brand new era in Three Cushion Billiards here in America. It's been nearly 20 years. It's been nearly 20 years since the last UMB World Cup here in Las Vegas and in the United States, and it's been an absolute dream for me and for all of us to witness three cushion billiards played at the very highest level for the entire week. And now it's come down to the final. The two most beautiful and powerful players in the strongest field assembled on this side of the Atlantic for nearly two decades. Hailing from Egypt, he's the 13-time current and current national champion of his country, the champion of the African Middle Eastern Confederation, the AMECC. Currently ranked number nine in the UMB World Ranking, please welcome Semi Sidong. From the Netherlands, a giant sportsman in three cushion billiards. He is 21 time and current national champion, national Dutch champion. He is the four time and current world champion. He is 26 times World Cup champion. Please welcome the number one ranked player in the world, Dick Jasper. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Ira. I just want to ask everybody, uh, you've been wonderful the past couple of uh, matches in keeping your cell phones all kept on silent mode. We really appreciate that. We hope that you can continue to do that. If you have any important phone calls you need to take, please feel free to step outside, take your call, come back in, and continue watching this wonderful match. Anybody taking photos, please make sure that you do not have your flashes on. We do not want to interrupt the players while they're shooting. We really appreciate your being here today and hope you enjoy this wonderful match. Good speech there from Ira Lee, Cantonese. Chinese. I went to the restaurant with him yesterday. He tried to speak Barros Chinese with the with the server who was Chinese, but Mandarin. They didn't uh, understand each other. It's I get it. Interesting. Y 
También si llegan a tomar fotos, asegúrense nomás que apaguen los flash para que no vaya a, a molestar a los jugadores cuando estén tirando. Se les agradece su participación en mirar este gran evento y, y obviamente este, eh, que, que nos ayuden a, a dar el respeto que merecen los jugadores. Muchas gracias por estar aquí y atender. And you got the chair asking for cell phones to be put on silent, not use flash photography, the usual announcements. And here we go for the lag. A 50-point match, no equalizing inning. This is for the title. Sam Sidom, actual champion of Egypt, but he did have a scare. He, he lost in the last leg of the championship and uh, I think it was the player who beat him. If he would have gone on to win the tournament, Sami would not have won the championship. So, curious fact. Yes, and these players are you know, very keen on winning their nationals because it's 30 points for the world ranking. That can be very important. Same's leg was good. Jasper's leg was just a little bit better. But he doesn't convert the break shot, so there's the advantage gone. Saw him practicing on the break shot several times. Didn't really get it right. He is not going to be happy about that. Not only do players expect to make three points or more, from the break they expect to give their opponents a tough shot to begin with. I start with an easy one, you start with a tough one. That can be a big, big advantage. Sidom also starting with an error. But it doesn't give away much. That's the difference, this was too thin. Are we expecting another slow start from Dick Jaspers? I almost do. Jaspers had 26 innings for his semi-final and that was something you did not see coming after 10 innings. Had a beautiful run there in the middle of the match with 38 points in 10 innings. Which is an enormous number of course. Good shot here. <laughs> Little double kiss on the yellow gives him perfect position. This should give him confidence. It remains a mystery why Jaspers is so much better in the second half of all his matches than in the first. But if I can judge the look on his face correctly, he looks better than in the semi-final. Sometimes you can, you can experience more pressure in the semi-final than in the final, because if you, yeah, if you reach the final, you're already, already good. This was a single chance, no backup or anything had to make it, and he did, and he has fantastic position now. This is a shot you love to play because you know you're probably going to make it, and you know there's a big, big, big chance you're going to make the next one. How's the touch? Yellow ball a little bit too much in the diagonal here, yes. so... Needs a needs a good better shot. shot. Here. Yeah, he needs a better shot than this one to make the next. Nice hit there on the red, creating basketball in the corner. Ooh, overdid it. Might come here with a, 
Some help? No. He overdid it, the draw. Not a good shot. Far away for his. By his doing. high standards. Yeah. Hope he can't hear us. Well, if he could, he would agree. Yes, in all fairness, he is one of the most honest guys. He never comes up with any excuses or anything when he loses. Oh, that's nice. Beautiful touch. That was a small hole. He had to put the white in. And he did it perfectly. Red ball doesn't disturb the queuing here. That was a little bit fortunate, but... Let's see if he can avoid the gap there. Behind the red, no problem. Sidom, a very fluent style. He's a scoring guy. He's not a chess playing tactical game guy. He wants to make points and he does so fairly quickly. Very good intuition, very good stroke. Still young for a three cushion player. I don't know exactly his age to you. I don't know. Uh, I would have to guess. Mid 30s something for Sami. Er maybe early 30s? No, he's mid 30s. No, early 30s, 30s I don't think, but uh, more like 36 or something. But I, I'm just guessing. Yes, me too. This is good. Short angle. White ball coming up just to the good area. Now mid 30s is not old for a three cushion player at all because three cushion players they mature later than the snooker guys and some of the pool guys. Super player like Eddie Merricks didn't win tournaments in his 20s. He started winning in his late 30s. He started becoming world class. Some like Dani Sanchez are super good when they're young. With 17, 18, he was 17, already 18, yeah, yeah. he was world class. You were f world class when you were 20. But most players need some years to find all the aspects of the game, get it together, the right balance. Same still has time to develop even more. Dick Jaspers can only fine-tune some little details, maybe, of his game. Taj Demir, too, became much, much stronger when he was a little bit older. He goes for many players. Taj Demir has spend been spending a lot of time on developing position play. And that is part of the game where you have so much possibilities. Every hour that you can use on studying position play is really worth it. Cross cut shot by this one needs Sidon. He needs, needs to make this. More spin than on other tables. I have learned throughout this tournament. These three cushions tend to come up a little short sometimes. Longer shots like five cushions play longer and the shorter shots play shorter. Every table has slightly different character. They can come out of the same factory and made from the same materials and still behave just that little bit differently. A little bit too thin, that one. Needed to move the red ball out of the way first, not like that.
after zero. He had a little bit of room on that first long rail he hit. He I hit it uh, just a little early. I think he was afraid to go into the corner and come up too long. Because the corners react like that here on the... Especially on this center court table. But good defense. Five cushion shot here. He's not playing any draw here, so he will go to the long cushion with speed. Not much you can do about that kiss. You have not you don't have many options there. We were discussing this just before the match started, how many good cross table shots Dick Jaspers played in the semi final. This is so another one. Many. Long, long short. Again he needs perfect judgment of the curve and the amount of slide. Like he's giving a lot of right side English. Big curve, too much curve. Is there a fluke coming? Almost. It's a fluke for Sidom. This is a free point. Five cushion Jaspers shots. Will not be happy. I think he hit too much ball here. Yeah, but much thinner is is dangerous for red mi might kiss the yellow away table looks like it's sliding a li little bit more oops this might go in the hole no no problem i thought he was aiming to go to the corner there maybe make a seven cushion shot Three cushion here, maybe with extra speed. Otherwise, it's going to be too long. Little spin, lots of speed. Make it short, perfect. Beautiful little replays of the left hand on the table. does move in the moment of impact, but our balls are pretty heavy, so it's impossible to avoid. Around 210 grams. Nice shot, confident one. Who is going to be the first guy to make a meaningful run in this match? Could be the Egyptian. What a good shot that was. He says sorry. Did he mean a five cushion? Wow. Okay. Beautiful queuing action, absolutely straight. How did he get that too short? He get that short. Wow. Big curve, of course, after hitting yeah. the first ball. He was working to get it short, and he made it too short. Classic. Three cushion player mistake. But he has the lead. It's eight points to three. It's nothing earth shattering, but it's something.
That's for zero. That was a big ask to get that so short. But it's a nice safety shot. Not intended, but looks like trouble for Sami. On the other hand, Jaspers has three points in six innings. Another difficult start to the match for him. Not the first time. He keeps needing those big finishes where he makes like 30-something points in 10 innings. Nice well escape. Very good. Needing the corner, finding the corner. Very good. Thin enough to miss the kiss. One of the most difficult shots in, in our game. Short, long short here off the white. Would you play this with lots of English and lots of ball? Or yeah, he does it like that. Like this. To maneuver the white down to the short cushion. Good shot. Very good. I find that the ones in between are the toughest. I like the shot where you pump your cue ball full of English and you use lots, lots of the second ball. And I like the flat ones with almost no English. But in between, and in between, I'm difficult. lost. I'm just lost. Yeah, I'm, I I'm don't the know same. I want to avoid that. Close, but no point. But he gets the long cushion there in the corner, which is a big difference. Here, after missing, his cue ball goes to the long cushion. If it would have gone to the short cushion, Dick Jaspers would have had a ticky shot. Now he doesn't. He has um, maybe a twice around, a difficult twice around. Can he get there? Has to hit a lot of ball. A little bit in a rush here because he doesn't want to take an early timeout. He's not playing it. Plays the flat He's cushion here, no spin. Left. No. And Good he try, risks. He risks giving away a great position. Red ball coming out far enough. Yes, this might be a good position. Chance for Summit to add to his lead. This was, of course, not the line he played. He wanted to make it off three rails. Not a bad try. He was a little rushed there. Not many seconds left. Sami cannot play off the red, so he needs a draw here. Left hand English, three cushions. If he's confident, he plays it slowly for position. One. Not bad. Ame looking, looking like he has played many finals. Uh, pretty good here in the start. The psychological advantage is his because he has nothing to lose. This tournament is a major, major success, whatever happens in this final. And the pressure is on the world number one. Who is trailing by eight points. Here he was worried about the red disturbing, so he played a little thinner than he needed and <laughs> came up so little, but short. Advantage for Sameh here to have an Egyptian referee? Question I was mark. just thinking the same thing. You know, in three cushion billiards, I don't think anybody in his right mind would object to Bilo Salama refereeing a Same Sidom match. It would be just unheard of to think 
it would be an advantage for the Egyptian. These top referees we have are just truly honest and they don't care about nationality. They give the point when the point is made. Even in ice hockey once I Sweden played a final world championship I think against Canada and they requested a Canadian, the Swedish requested a Canadian ref referee because, because he was the best better. in the tournament. Well, that was interesting. Oh, he judged the table well there. Didn't slide on the second cushion and he knew it. He has played his... This is the third time in a row that he plays on this table. Little differences between the tables. But so important. And by the way, to finish the referee story, we had the World Championship in Sharm el Sheikh, Egypt, where Dutch referees were refereeing Jaspers matches and nobody cared. It's a normal thing in billiards. Good shot by Same. He judged the corner correctly. He's going to get a good lead like this. He's building up a good lead and Jaspers needs to be worried. But he isn't actually worried. He, I talked to him many times about this. He says when he has a bad start he just concentrates more. Sounds crazy, but uh, that does mean does that mean that he's not concentrated before? I don't know. That's why I called it a miracle that he keeps finishing with two average when he starts with three points in eight innings. Curious to see if he can reach two average in this match with this start. He did it in the semi-final, 26 innings. Also a poor start. But still 10 in 11 innings. This is 3 and 9. Or 3 and 8 maybe. Three times long cushion. Lucky shot. That's good. With position. Wow, that is lucky. Double lucky. I think it would have been a miss. He needed the kiss. I'm not sure about that. Might have. Yeah, m might be right there. Very thin, but a miss. And he gets the kiss. And the kiss not only made certain of the point, but it also improved the position. That was a nice free point. And here's another one. Now, if you place the cue ball, the white ball, just four centimeters closer to the short rail, it becomes a difficult twice around with kiss problems. But I think he can get away with it as they are now, don't you think? Yeah, I think so too, but looks like he's not really sure. Easy escape. No kiss problems. Certain of the point. Speed was important there. If you play it more slow, it's going to kiss. This is one very good lesson for aspiring three cushion players. You should practice the same shots at different speeds and see what happens. That'll improve your game by a lot. B 
big slide there on the third cushion. Seems like the table is playing really long when it's clean. Ah, he's not playing the seven cushion shot here. Thin on the white, he's going three cushions directly. Ooh. No, he did play the long shot and miss hit it. Now with a shot like that you have no idea about defense, you have absolutely no clue what you're going to give, so it's purely luck if you're going to give a good one or a bad one. How's your luck? He didn't give a really good one. Choice of two difficult shots here. Dick is going to look for the third rail just behind that yellow. Bad stroke from Dick no. Jaspers. That no. doesn't happen so many times. Not good. He just let it go. He didn't yes. hold. Didn't hold the cubo. Rare, rare stroking mistake. Can see that again here. What is that? You see the strange elbow. movement. You see the elbow movement, which is clear proof of uncertainty in the player's head. You're second guessing yourself. That happens to me many times when I don't know what's going to happen in the shot. You know, you're, you're worried already before. I think he was not really ready to shoot there. Some in time trouble. Almost never happens. Four seconds. Yeah, but he sees, sees the clock. And he plays a good shot. Wonderful. He had the shot clock right in front of him, so that's always an advantage. When you have it behind you, it's more worrying. Yep, spot on the red ball, please clean. And very nicely sits down, you don't want uh, the other player to think that you're studying the position when the referee is cleaning the ball. So to avoid every misunderstanding you go to the chair, very nice. And quickly back before the referee pushes the buttons. <laughs> Only one chance here to hit the white. He doesn't. Yeah, table is playing long. And that could cost him a few because he's given totally open position to Jaspers. These shots come really long on these tables, especially on the center court. Misjudged it. The Jasper still suffering from that missed break shot. Didn't settle down completely. Barely makes it, and his cue ball floats down to the cushion. That is awkward. And again, not a confident stroke. A little bit jumpy, to quote Torsten Hohmann, famous world champion pool player. A bit jumpy. Jumpy is nice. He admits, I get jumpy too sometimes. Difficult stroking here from the cushion, full ball, lots of spin. He got there. Another thin one. Those 
count as one point as well. Very close to the kiss, that was very narrow. Everything difficult in that shot. He's happy. Cue ball position was terrible and still makes this one. Could go across, yellow, long, long, short to the red, but maybe he sees the shot differently than I do. I don't know. Long, long, short. That's the one I predicted. That's the one he's playing. Beautiful. Perfect. And that's how you want to hit the red ball, that they stay same distance from the long cushion. Normally you get many options there. He always looks relaxed, some may see them. You don't see him stressed during a match. Very good temperament. He's warming up. Long, 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 probably. I am surprised by the speed he used, but he made it perfectly. The line. It was obviously a good idea. Now Why this did he do that? Explain it to us. Yeah, maybe he had that experience in the last match that the ball curved too much between the first and the second cushion, cushion and then dived down to the short cushion. Correct. Maybe he learned. He We've learned seen from that, that once or twice. Yeah. So in order to keep it really flat, he used more speed. If you're confident to hit the ball still correctly with that much speed, you it's a good idea on that shot, especially when the table is sliding a little bit. It seems like it is. Good bank shot and again <laughs> extending that yellow straight in front. Of course, he doesn't know that before, but that's just, just the outcome. Very good position. Options here, too many options. Maybe <laughs> he will take a time out to, t to know which one to play. Draw shot from the red, two ways off the yellow. I would have guessed he played the draw shot off the red there, but this might work slowly with <coughs> little English. Good shot. Here he comes back. Johnny. He's back. To use a movie quote. Here comes Dick. He was never in this match so far. And he got a couple of thin hits. But now he is. Same's lead is gone. It's thirteen to fourteen in eleven innings, so still a slow start for both. But once the Jaspers scoring machine is running, anything can happen. <laughs> He's a bit like a diesel, isn't he? He's always been like that. Typical Dick Jaspers match from the 80s. 14 points in the first 21 and out in 28 to 50. Happened many times. Nine. 
That's unfortunate. Yeah, how that's he hits that yellow. Not a nice result. Good shot, but the balls are in the diagonal. You, if you can't see the back of the three balls, the last one, you're in trouble. I don't know what he's going to play. I have no idea. Maybe cross table from the yellow? No, this looks like something else. Oh, like that with spin. Very difficult shot, but did not execute it really well. He was no. a little bit in time trouble again and refuses to take the time out early. He needed maybe exactly the corner here. He's a diamond away from the corner. Yeah, it didn't get a lot of draw on it. Needed a thin hit, of course, there it's more difficult to get all the draw out. That looks really short. Just a centimeter, but it could have been, could be that it was a very crucial centimeter. Open position here for Dick. Not really easy. He has to do something with the red ball. Maybe extra thin with some draw. That's what he does. And now that you see the cue ball, it looks like a total natural. It looks like an easy shot. Good lesson for recursion players. Learn to play all shots with different hit. Thinner with more draw, more ball, less draw, all all the variations. And I just gave them homework, played with different speeds. Yeah. And now so you're adding to the a lot of lot of homework for you're adding to the workload. The three cushion playing viewers. Yeah, that's a fortunate kiss. Couldn't have been better for him. Is the rail first of the red still on for Samuel? Probably is, but he loves to thin. He loves to thin the white ball here. That's tough from distance. He plays those shots really well, but yeah, but looks the red like he's is not going even there. The red is not open in the corner. He yeah, but it's a safety shot. But he he attacks. He has to hit this mm. so so well. No, he's going for the rail first. Sure. I thought he was lining he up. He goes the for the attack. Thin Good. one off the wide, but this was the best shot, probably. Cuba now screwing out of the corner there. That was important. Might have a chance to make one more point. Not going to be easy, though. And that short. Yeah, we said that, that those are the shots that come up a little short on, on these tables. They tend to miss the five rails long and the and these short, short yeah. the three rails short. I learned that after my first match, but I couldn't really use it <laughs> in the other matches. Only a couple of times. Jasper's needing another one of those long, long, short, perfect judgments. 
and this time he has to go a little bit through the red curve after the first cushion. Mm -hmm. He didn't really get that curve, no. probably aiming more ball. Good chance for Sidom. It is the first time and it's really rare to see Same Sidom in a final. I'm happy for him. He's a great player, but this is his first final after many, many tries. Yes, he has a couple of years on the circuit and his first absolute highlight was the semi-final in Randers 2019 World Championship. This is even better. He's not in the semi-final, he's in the final. He's, he's, been one of the, he's one of the big boys now. He's been a seeded player. Uh, see the player for many many years. Yes. And of course, they often told him, "Well, you're a seeded player because you get all those points from the confederational championship." But he's proving to the world that he can do the average that correspond with his ranking. He's played 1.8 in this uh, event. It's fantastic. And by the way, the. African Championship and the uh, Egyptian Championship is is not a sure win for him anymore. No, there Some are good players there now. More good players than just Sidom. Riyad Nadi putting out semi Saiganer of, of the World Championships last year. And playing much better averages than he did six, seven years ago. Now yeah. he's improved. And a couple of good guys from Lebanon. Jordan. Jordan. It's very nice to see that. That's a big mistake. Oh, that's a big mistake. Very nice to see those countries sending good players to international tournaments. That's Just an uncharacteristic it. mistake yeah. from Sidom. He usually doesn't miss those. Takes back the lead, but that one will evaporate in a few seconds. One. How's your luck? That looked like one of my positional shots. Just leave everything in the open and hope for something. They could have been friendlier to him, the balls. Still has a chance, I think, for the thin five cushion with a draw, but that requires a lot of draw, becomes difficult. Don't think he has a four cushion direct. No, five cushion here with draw. No. There you have it. The five rails tend to go long. The three rails tend to go short. Yeah, we can summarize that. When you go rather straight into the long cushion, it tends to go more straight out. And when you go with a very flat angle, it ten tends to slide. Yes. And then it comes short out of the third cushion. Yes. What can Samai do here? Pay attention. Nice. <laughs> Played a very nice ticky there. There was not much space. No. Almost no space. <laughs> that was like a three millimeters more than a ball. 64 millimeters <laughs> out of the cushion and the ball Fantastic. is 61 and a half. Fantastic. Brave shot. But he didn't get anything to work with here, it looks like. What is this? Oh, he's going to draw it with a curve to the upper right corner. Mm -hmm. We'll see how far he gets. No, missed the corner. Lots of spin, but it's is it enough? Yes, yes it is. Enough. Great shot, and now the result is better. Oh my goodness, this could be a great opening for him. Didn't really get the corner, but so much spin here made the point. He 
He's playing the thin hit. Not very thin, but it's enough. Oh, so that was not so difficult. <laughs> easy, easy task for him. His stroke almost never lets him down, even in exciting situations. What would you play here, Bert? I don't know what I would play. Please don't ask me. Sorry. Nice try. I would have played this, but slightly, slightly less ball. Less ball, you say? Might have been a kiss. I think he had to hit it like that. It was a wonderful line he almost created there. Very good try. What is happening here? Oh, thought he was long. Many thin. It looked like he was long. Many thin hits already, Dick. Almost missed shots. You see the ball here, you think it's long. Yeah. But he has it. And he knows he's in a match because Sama has taken the lead. Again. Poor start from Jaspers. Fight back from Jaspers. Now Same in the lead again. Uncharacteristic. Little bit there, but beautiful shot. Unchares uncharacteristic, I mean, Dick has a procedure every time when he's lining up for the shot, and he didn't follow that one this time couple of pre-strokes and then one kind of aggressive last last pre-stroke then pull back and then shoot and he did that three or four times this time that's not his normal style maybe he's a little bit excited I do think he feels the pressure as a favorite you mean yes mm. Ooh, too much ball. This is a bad shot. But there's the fluke. Doesn't matter. There's the apology. It's part of three cushion, folks. It happens to ordinary club players. It happens to the number one player in the world. But this is this is hard for the opponent because this is a shot that he played bad. Sometimes you play a, a shot pretty good and yeah. in the end there is a little nudge and you get lucky like that or you get a lucky position sometimes, but this was <laughs> bad shot. That hurts. You know, all flukes are equal, but some flukes are more equal than, than others. That's the reality of life. Very true. Seven cushions here off the yellow looks like an option. L left side of yellow, and then shoot the yellow in behind, behind the red between the red and the long cushion. We'll see how Dick feels about that. Is he going up and down? Yeah. Instead. Went for that instead. Um, he's in good. between his chances. I think so. He is in between his two chances. I don't think the three rail was really there. He needed the four rail. No, the three rail is there. Looks like very possible here. He misses the corner by 20 centimeters and more, so that would have made it. Okay, a little the bit three rail to the corner. was also an option. Which did he play? I think he played the three cushion. He was just like five centimeters away, so fair enough. We give him the benefit of doubt. 
No bad contact here, please. Played it short again. But mm, yeah, I'm, fooled, I'm fooled by the top camera again. Yes. Looked so short. You have to understand, uh, viewers, that we are not looking at the billiard table. We cannot see the billiard table, so we're doing commentary off the monitor. And it's sometimes a little bit deceptive. So if once in a while we are applauding a shot and it turns out to be just a miss, please forgive us. Too much ball, but it was a desperately difficult shot there to try. Could have played the red there, four cushions around the table. He trusted his stroke. And, and it let him down this yeah. time. But it was difficult. I don't want to call that let down. It was kind of a gamble. Is there some sort of a ticky and which one is it? Torbjorn? Or is it a regular regular bank shot? No, it's a ticky from yellow with draw. Not easy, but it's good at those. Yes. Found it. A little thin hit again. Twenty-one, twenty-one. We're pretty close to the mid-match interval. Sixteen innings. Hasn't been a super quality final so far. A little nervy. Some mistakes here and there. But it's very exciting. But it's nice to watch. That was pretty good. Yeah, really good. He, he took a little extra full ball there to make it curve. As opposed to playing it thinner with less English. Maybe he maybe wanted to play the red to that corner. And hope for a position. It, this looks good. Short, long, long. Big stroke here. Yeah, lots of draw. Too much? No, it no. slides. So it was still sliding enough, so good shot, and here comes position. All these shots that start off around the middle of the long rail, they, s they slide down. We've had that before. Look here, it's way before the middle of the long rail. He knows, he has tried a five cushion here, now three directly. That's also good. Jasper's the first guy to reach 25 points. So as soon as he misses, we will have a short break. Just for information, 19 points in the last five innings. Ticky again, maybe. I can't see an easy shot. It's looking at a lot of different things here. Takes a time out. Ticky is possible. Long cushion first, red ball, and then down to the corner. Can also play a three cushion with draw, right side of red. Long, short, long. Goes for the ticky here. Mm. 
Good shot. He really wanted to make that one. You can tell from the body language, you can tell from the fact that he took a timeout, from the attention he gave it, he really wanted that one. Is this rail first? Into the yellow? Rail, rail first with reverse English? Yes. Might be. Still hoping, but no. No, come on. <laughs> That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Please join us in a couple of minutes, people. We'll have the second half of this exciting final for you. Be back in a few.
and we are back. This is Bert van Manen with Torbjörn Blomdahl commentating on the second half of the final of the Las Vegas World Cup, the second World Cup of 2022. Is it going to be Jaspers, Torbjörn? Again Jaspers? Yes, everybody thinks so. I still give Sami a little chance, but he has to react right now. I give Sami a lot of credit for the way he has handled himself in this tournament. But you know, it's not so easy to win a final against uh, Dick Jaspers. Still so very hungry. So Dick. hard to beat. Audience oh. needs to settle down. People need to take their seats and we are going to resume. So it's now. Jaspers has scored 20 points in the last five innings and he's in almost top gear so a response is required right now. It's only five points the difference and now it's four. But that was a nice shot, nice confident shot. Thin hit leaving the white in the corner. Draw here with little English. But the white ball goes wrong. This is going to be difficult. The white close to that point where the red ball is or one of the cue balls it's not really a good position no you don't want it there it's part of Siberia nothing to play here can he draw it from the left side of the red into the long cushion that might be the only chance for a halfway natural shot Short, or maybe long. four rails off the yeah. left side of the red not easy you have the second object ball behind your back Maybe three cushions even? No. No, he's tried four, but difficult. And no chance to play safe. Yeah, he needs to get away with the hand and cue very quick, so quality of the stroke is not guaranteed. Can drag this one in here. Just drag it with slow slow speed and low cue ball hit with lots of spin. Cue ball will have a lot of spin on the on the second cushion. Might not even need that. It's completely open for natural English shot. Yeah, no spin needed. Easy. Unfortunately Sami gave him a free point. At first it looked like he had to work with it, but it was easy. Again, this has to do with the fact that from that perspective, from on the camera, on the screen, the table isn't twice as long as it is short. It's more like a 3 by 5 dimension. And it distorts some of the lines. Very good shot here. He has eight fingers on the cup. Or the trophy. And it would be the 27th of his career.
We are joined here by William O. and Typhoon Tajdemir, both no stranger to a set of headphones. Oh, look at that! Did he get it short or did he make it beautifully? Very good shot from the Casper <laughs> Wow! That was highest class. That was a classy shot. So close to the red here on the way. Look at the on the way in. Deep in the corner. Wonderful. At the same time controlling the yellow. The yellow could have been a problem, but he took it full enough to avoid kisses. For those of you who were not here yesterday, I have to thank Mr. Typhoon Tajdemir, who was very helpful in doing commentary and sharing his knowledge. We hope to see you more often, Typhoon, in the future. An occasional miss here from Jaspers, but I think he took care to leave something difficult. A little bit of a chance though. Long, long, short. Maybe one more long cushion. It's looking good. Very good. Jaspers has of course played a lot better in the past, let's say in the past eight innings than in the first eight innings, but he's not quite gotten rid of Mr. Sidom yet. He's still in the match, the Egyptian. A nice kiss control. Should give him a boost. And now he certainly is only five points the difference and good position. And he still has nothing to lose. He can go for his shots. If he loses, nobody will blame him. Goes for a four cushion. follow there through the red almost took the kiss there I was a little surprised that he chose the four rail not the three but he has his reasons and he made the point full spin shot here or just try to catch that little third cushion full spin but too much draw I think no it's good it's good yeah, it gets a kiss, but it was going to be good anyway. Still, it's lucky, of course. He had it, even without a kiss, he had it. That's a famous comment of amateur players. Yeah, I would have made it also without a kiss. Yeah, but it's still lucky. And the appropriate excuse, or pardon, Sorry, from Sami Sidom. Five cushions here, needs to go deep into the corner, very deep. Did he get deep enough? I'm not sure. I don't think so. No, no, didn't work. Short, long, short here. Ah, interesting. He looked at the point in the fourth cushion. Past the point. 
That's the way he's playing it. A little bit of right hand English here. Thin. He's left it long. Zero. Surprising miss. Not an easy shot, but I would expect him to make it in a situation like this. Maybe not in the first couple of innings of a match, but here in the middle when he's warmed up. Yes, you expect him to get that. Nine out of ten, I think, at least. Wow. Nine out of ten? Okay. Let's not argue about that. Now, would that have gone through the hole? Behind, I think, yeah. I think so. Wanted the white in the short cushion first and not long cushion. Close to a fluke. Little body English. Can Jaspers go round the table or does he go up and down? Looks like full English, so he's going four cushions. And five, of course, using the short cushion as well. That's the fourth, that's the fifth. That'll do nicely. Not sure he can play the next shot, though, easily. Looks like the six cushion shot here off the yellow might have a kiss. So he abandons it. Might be a very wise decision. Very sensitive. Little three rail off the red ball. Not a problem for Jaspers. And his lead is back to five points. It's still anybody's final, this. Same Sidum refuses to go away. He sticks around. But very open position now for Jaspers. Can score a lot from this one. Full spin draw. That was almost a certainty. Nice nice way of playing this shot, just letting the red go around the angles, come back to the middle. And this is not lucky that he has this position. He had a good plan. And now he has nothing. I know, I tell you one thing he has, he has a very, very good left hand. If he can reach this one at all, he might make it even. Short, long, short from the yellow. What a horrible, horrible can't, position. Can't reach. And now he has to queue over the yellow. This is no fun. Oh, come on. Very good hit. No, two rails. But that was already very good to get close.
the Gaspers playing with green chalk these days, as you saw from the close-up of his tip. See Dom here That's with a so nice bad. try. Very good That's shot. That's a very nice point. Played it at a sa as a safety shot. Now he has to suffer himself from that. But what a beautiful shot. That takes over the number one place of his best shots in this match. He likes it. And now opportunistic fast shot from the red. Left side, left English, short, long, long and speed. You think he... Is going to play like that, or I is he going to I finish that, it? If I play like that, I always go in the hole, but okay. Uh, he plays it a little bit more with finesse. Very good. And that worked out very nice for him. So Not just the point. This one with half speed. He could make a run. Ah, he went before the red. Yeah, 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 good. Not easy shot. Not an easy shot, that one. And again, the distance between the two is five points. I have the feeling that when, if Sami reaches anywhere near 40, he could finish the match if he gets some chances with the run. Seems to be mentally in very good shape. He's not going to choke. I don't think so. Maybe 49-49, the classic Dick Jaspers match where, where the opponent doesn't find the last point and he does. That's a possibility because everybody seems to do it these days. <laughs> Big speed cross table shot here. Oh, I'm that's not sure, a I'm not big sure that decision for below. And Bilo says it's good. I'm not sure. I thought I heard two sounds. Take a good look. Must be good because otherwise the red cannot go straight up. Yeah. What a close call. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> that That's what I mean with the same nationality of the yes, referee. Yes, I, I that's get it. That's a bad situation. I get it. Sure, it's not a problem, but it, it opens up some some speculations issues. and yeah. look at the white bad comments here's the white going to take away the point yeah, that's, that's desperately cruel. unlucky nice line he finds the nice line but a kiss you cannot see coming this is a kiss you cannot see coming bad luck Typhoon Tashtemir commenting here next to us. Unbelievable kiss. So Nobody unlucky. knows about that kiss, I think. Just happens. I've seen that kiss, but on other shots. And then you can be afraid of it. Good shot. Courageous and technically really good. That was too good. Marco Zanetti style shot. Wow. Slowly to the middle. Position play. Stay close to the yellow. Put the red in a good place. He has uh, quite a few options here. What's the best one? Yeah, again with his top camera, table looking like a widescreen TV. Uh -huh. It's difficult to say. Looks like he's going five right cushions. side of the... Yeah, I think that's a big ball. If you pass right long, you will the get the second five chance. Five rails. If he's unlucky, this is maximum corner and too short. No, it's no, good. It's good. So that was a good shot to play. Very big yellow ball in the end.
are we seeing the Gaspers in I'm gonna finish it off now mood yeah he looks he looks good again he, he yeah. looks like the regular killing machine there really is a big difference between how he looks at the table in the beginning of the match and oh yes yeah, such a big difference when he's in the middle of the match Play that as a draw shot. Thin hit with draw instead of just rolling it. It was possible too. Where are we going with draw this? To the corner. Draw to the corner. Yellow into the corner to avoid the kiss. Nope. Couldn't find the third rail. Also was very close to the kiss there, so something, yeah, but I think something didn't go right there. If he slows up the cue ball a little more, he will have more English on the second rail and he'll make the point. Seven points, the difference now. Not a lot. Jaspers with his very poor start, three points in eight innings. Six Back. in 11, now 32 in the last nine. Oh, Ooh, that's what a good great. Shot. That's so well played by Same Sidom. That is what you call understanding what the table does and having the stroke to make it a reality he has developed from a, from a, a guy who was very good at hitting balls you know making thin points and now he's he's he has a developed his shot making abilities in all kinds of situations if can find points Not this one. Very difficult as well. Can he go yellow, short, long, long? I think that will require some extra speed and with these pretty nervous corners it's hard to control that one. C he, he cannot play it slowly but he's going for it. Uh, maybe with a draw then he can control it better. So good. That's just about perfect. It's not a sh shot you play for a position or what you're just happy to make the point. But the way we know Dick Jaspers, he normally gets positions anyway, so he's known to be a little bit luckier than most players with this aspect of the game. But That's what they say. He deserves it because he makes more points than everybody else, so maybe it's because of that. And the chance of hitting the third ball on the correct side improves when you hit the third ball more often. <laughs> Four cushions now, draw it all the way to the corner. But the kiss is no, still going no. to be there, always. Difficult to avoid the kiss, kind of opportunistic shot from Dick Jaspers. He's Not his habit. Yeah, he is sometimes sometimes said that but he had a three rail there. Yeah, but then thinner, then the yellow goes 
long, long, and until yeah. they serve the red you anyway. Have to, so you have to hide it somewhere. Yeah. But he's he's he said many times to me privately. Maybe I should not repeat it here, but he only wants to bring his cue ball in the right direction. He doesn't want to really bother about what the object ball is doing. So that's why I say a little bit opportunistic. Unfortunate hit on the red there. Might still be okay. Do you remember, or maybe you haven't seen it, but when he was a teenager, like 18, 19, 20 years old, how he played balk line? No, I I've never seen any balk line. I've played games. several tournaments with Dick in balk line, and he would just not have, he did not have the best balk line. Um, Build up. He didn't play really structured, great runs on the line, Asheval. But he just wouldn't miss. He just wouldn't miss. <laughs> Kept going. And then you think he's out of position. Now it's <laughs> my turn. No. Yeah, but I can confirm that from pre three cushion matches. I've had so many with him, and sometimes when he's in the mood, he's just making points and points and points and getting good positions all the time. And then finally he gets a, a worse position, and then you hope now you go now no, it's my turn. Now it's my turn. No, he makes that one too. So that's how he played ball. Yeah. Well, I don't want to exaggerate. He was a very good, very proficient forty-seven-two player. But sometimes he was out of position for thirty points. He kept repairing, 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 and he never missed. Yeah, that is a good quality in billiards to never miss. So re-establishing the five-point gap. Too much draw on this shot. Misses it by a lot, but actually in the first cushion it's not that much. Good chance for Dick here. Long, long, long. Needs to control the curve, the amount of curve. Didn't. Many cross table shots in these matches today. So many, I think, much more than normal normal matches. Didn't try for the long, long short there. He tried for the long, long, long. Or maybe long, long, long short. And he has handed his Egyptian opponent a problem. It's a World Cup final, you just play this for the safety. That red ball is so nasty there. Oh, he gave it a good try, now he gets the kiss and there Thank goes you. the safe. Good hit here, this was yes. headed to the corner. Yeah, it Might have made it. The red is in a truly nasty place. But as he as he cannot use the yellow for anything, he has to play this four cushion. Not that bad, because he can be free to use pretty much English. That's good for the match. I expected him to get that. Yeah, I think he played it. Yeah, knowing that he will reach the corner, but the angle was bad. Look at the angle there mm -hmm. from cue ball to first object ball. Maybe he needed to push a little bit and not play slow. So decisions that you take in a couple of seconds, not always correct. Could be costly. So the gap now less than five points, and this is looking pretty good. Good chance for Sidom. And we'll not say it out loud, we'll whisper it. He needs 15 points.
What has he done there? Yeah, Red was Red caught the double corner and slowed down. <laughs> or he got Red into the no, he got it into the short cushion first, and then it with the reverse English, it slowed down and did not get out of the way. It's a kiss you normally wouldn't have. Confirmed here by uh, Typhoon, double zero for the red ball. Means that it had contact with both cushions at some time, at the same time, and that slows it down, and that was a very unlucky kiss for Sidon. The world champion needs ten for yet another World Cup win. Two in a row, that would be, if he wins. Same thing that Dani Sanchez did before him, also winning two World Cups in a row. Very few people have won three in a row. Oh, that's long. Mistake Jaspers. by Jaspers. Has somebody won four in a row? I think somebody did. No, really? Yeah, really. I'm not a statistician. Is that a word? Unexpected miss from Jaspers that last inning. That's a shot there from Sidom, which almost guarantees a bad position. You can't keep the white in the corner, so it's going to stay in the middle of the short cushion. And if you don't get around the red, you will have two balls in front of you like this. So difficult to continue after that shot. Long, no, short, long, long from white. Brave shot, but it it's looks, looks okay from this angle. Why not? And he's let it slide. It through, yeah. He has some defense, but would have preferred to make the point. So the Jaspers again does not reach to average. He did twice in this tournament, showing some some good form against Zanetti and. One other match, I think. Not sure. And how many of these have we seen today in these two semi finals and final? Normally, that is uh, what happens when you play a, a poor safety shot. <laughs> Not this time, but uh, that happens many times when you play too fast and one ball comes out for this shot. Good, good one here from Dick. And this is good position. He is in the home stretch. Now, if if Sidom was at forty six, he would make ten and out here, I guess. Maybe still. This is not easy. But he can play it pretty softly. This is not a pickup short angle. This is a tough one. Not for him. I thought it was difficult. He didn't. He just made the point. Another cross table shot coming up. I thought he was going to play this really slow for to keep keep position. Mm -hmm. Stay stay all the three balls close. Now he pushed the yellow far away, but the cross table will save him again here. Admiring look there from Joel Svitala, former World Cup organizer in France. Admiring Dick Jaspers. Double oh. hit in the corner. Another double zero hit. How can you miss that 
over the red ball. That's incredible. Yeah, he hit, hit both cushions at the same time. Yeah. So that's why that's, that was the only chance. If he hits the long cushion first, it's always a point. Now here, exactly same time, contact with both cushions. Then the ball goes out in a straight line. So in and out in the same line. Bouncing between four and seven. Six points the difference. There is some space behind the red. Yeah. Does he find it? Yes. Not much Still you can do about that. The tension is not getting to Sama. He sits down just like he normally does. Okay, bad luck try again next inning. This is still a good chance for him to win a World Cup tournament. If he doesn't, it's He's not really a shame. He's really close. Needs 14 points. Not every day will you be 42-36 behind against Jaspers. No, you might be 42-0 behind. It happened to some people. Fantastic shot yes. again. <laughs> Talking about shot making abilities and this man has tons of that he has the goods little bit of spin then a full ball which gives the cue ball a little more spin it's so difficult to control I hope you understand that from my explanation well all the guys listening have tried that shot and I think they know how difficult it is. Four cushions here? Around the yellow? Does he play that? No. Backup shot. S very s sharp backup on these tables. Good try. And a chance for Sidon. A big chance. It's only seven points, and he is at the table. This could be the closest he'll ever come to winning a World Cup. Shortish. Was afraid of missing in the corner. That was a bad mistake. Hasn't played many shots that are really poor but this was a poor one in this match one sad Egyptian face Farouk Barki UMB president also from Egypt of course rooting for his countryman Sameh Sidom Great shot here Looks from good. Jaspers. Wonderful shot by Dick Jaspers. So well controlled. So well controlled. No Open shot down. from the red. The world champion needs six more. And this is his best shot. Nobody plays this shot so well as And he he's does. missed it. Do you think so? It wasn't by much. Little reverse on it. 
not enough. Normal players would be overjoyed to make it. The Jaspers is very annoyed to miss it. And Same is gone. That's two really poor shots in a row. But he, had, he didn't have much margin there. He needed to pass that kiss by one millimeter, otherwise he would have been too too thick. That was nerv nervous, always nervous shot when you know that you need to pass the kiss so close. And he didn't miss the kiss by nothing. He put it straight on. But from the cue ball on the po on the cushion position, it's always extra difficult. Something happening here. A little ah, ball cue ball cleaning. cleaning. Uh -huh, it's a tactical, tactical cue ball cleaning. Just the white, just the cue ball. Jasper's back at the table. Elevate the butt here, create a curve. Still needs to have a thin hit here. And, that and makes a big curve. Yeah, no, that makes it extra difficult to get that curve. With a full ball, it's easier. Good Red shot. shot. Beautiful curve here, just reaching the corner. Five cushion possible here with a backup? Yeah, it should be possible, yes. More than possible, maybe even easy for Where's him. Where's the yellow going? Yeah, thin enough that it okay. passes. Over. Beauty. He was worried about the kiss for a second, but everything was okay. I'm talking about this moment here. He oh was worried. yes, it was very close to the kiss. It was close, but now he needs four. There's no equalizing inning. Whoever reaches 50 has won the Las Vegas World Cup. Playing for three. Bank shot. That's what he's looking at. No, that's a long way off. That never looked like the good line. No. The way he was aiming, I thought he was going to put maximum English, but he didn't. That was way off. The lead now 11. It was three, four, five, six, seven points all match long. Sidom kept clinging, sticking around. Needs something big now. He needs to run eight. First of all, this one. Not bad. That's good. <laughs> That's convincing. Do they open up nicely for him? No. Not quite. Not good. 
white in the middle of the table but unfortunately yellow a little bit off good shot it was though red ball is great there he can still draw it draw in to the, the short right yeah into the short rail he has a very nice third rail here that's good didn't spin it he played it flat yeah mostly draw I thought he was going to spin it so yeah. create a very very big third, third cushion ball. yeah I agree where's the red going across and across maybe full ball yeah and spinning off the third cushion oh very oh nice it's <laughs> really good now it's we have the situation we have the situation I was talking about. He's near 40 and might finish with a big run. He's not finished yet, Sidom. He's not, he's not done with this match. Perfect shot there. Full hit on the third ball. Doesn't always give the best positions, but it gives confidence. He's going to make this short, thin on the inside. And this time he cannot aim for the gap because it's too big. And misses it on the short and side. He has it. Gets it. <laughs> Animates the audience. They want to see more. For a moment there, you think he's made it too short, but a little was wild. The shot was a little bit wild. Not, not quite possible probably needs to play the red ball here I think white ball has only kisses a minute from now it'll be 48 42 and Jaspers wants to be the 42 now he's the 48 maybe that's a problem oh draw no Th is this possible at all yeah it was he just passed the kiss now he has another kiss and no he it's it. <laughs> wow perfect And I think he has won over the audience. They're rooting for Same Sidom now. They don't like the Kaspers anymore. How close was that to the kiss? And one more time, that was an almost impossible shot. The difference is back to six points, 47-41. Sidom at the table. And That's a very you good can shot. count that one. <laughs> but now he is actually completely out of position. Yeah, this is such a fantastic shot. He's in jail now. And he gets no reward whatsoever. He even he will even struggle to to shoot here. Two rails into the red. Maybe short, short, short. It's not a bad try. And if red ball freezes to the rail. Did he leave a bank shot? No, he didn't. Oh, problem for Holland or the Netherlands, I'm sorry. That has been officially announced. Yes. We don't want to be called Holland. Is he going up and down? Bank Jaspers. shot. 
Jasper does not have any timeouts left. My goodness, are you kidding me? At that moment in the match, he comes up with that point. Are you kidding me? Shot making abilities. What a ridiculous guy he is. He just does not want to lose. And now he has this and he'll probably find a way to make this as well. Yeah, he's going to play from the yellow ball. He has a five cushion bank shot. Not very difficult, but he will play safe here. Of course, he's trying to make it, but at the same time doubling yellow. Kiss. And now he leaves another diagonal position for... Sami, that is, of course, a little bit lucky. High, High balls. balls. Jumping <laughs> almost out of the table. Sami si Sidome held up his hand there. He was ready to catch the ball. It was come, come flying. This is turning into a really exciting World Cup final. What is this? Kissing, yeah, twice that's my around. Shot. Kiss, no kiss, please. No kiss. What a shot! It gets better and better. Great effort here from the Egyptian, who also refuses to give up. Fantastic match. This is turning into. This is why people come watch three cushion. A horrible, another horrible position for Sidom. Can he squeeze the cue ball in between? Maybe a little ticky there. Same Sidom needs seven. Dick Jaspers needs two. Oh, I take that back. Dick Jasper still has a timeout. I but I may, may need one on this shot because it's complicated. Yeah, he has already taken it. Oh, four cushions with a curve. Yes, it's possible. Big curve around the white. Even goes to the long cushion. And this is bad news for him. Good effort here la late in the match, but this was so hard. He was really close to yet another sensational point there. Already made two really spectacular points. It's not to be on this one, and it's a chance for Dick Jaspers to finish off the match. Two points away from his 27th World Cup. And now just one point away. Should we start giving Jasper's handicap in the following World Cups? Because if he wins every tournament, it's... I mean, we can send the check already before the tournament. He doesn't win every tournament. <laughs> Dani Sanchez has recently won two World Cups. Semi Saigoner has recently won a World Cup. Feels like he's winning every time. Yeah, but only feels like that. It's not quite true. Here we go. Three cushions, short, long, short. Short, long, short for the title. For the Las Vegas World Cup. And there you have it. Uh, of course. Again, Dick Jaspers. Always Dick Jaspers. He Good just fight. refuses to lose and the Dutchman wins the Las Vegas World Cup beating Same Sidum of Egypt in a spectacular final that got better and better. It started off slow but man were the last 10 innings good. It heated up there in the end, uh, both players fighting hard and uh, in the end happy winner from Holland, from the Netherlands. Same, yeah, surely a little bit disappointed. Short, short.
short time before the end he miss, missed some easy shots lots of applause for this very gracious loser Samir Sidon from Egypt and he deserves what he gets here I'm not talking about the check I'm talking about the appreciation congratulations from Marco Zanetti and Dick Jaspers is a happy man and a relieved man continuing his run of tournament victories he deserves it he is very strong especially in the end of the matches so important we're going to close this transmission ladies and gentlemen I need to thank William O from 5 and 6 I need to thank Typhoon Tajdemi I need to thank Torbjörn Blomdahl all the guys who made this possible Thank you for watching 5 and 6 on YouTube and we will be back with the next World Cup. Thank you for watching. Bye bye from me too. See you. Everybody, please stay for the closing ceremony, which will, which will happen in just a few minutes. Everyone, please stay for the closing ceremony. Just a few minutes. <laughs>